Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Dorson, Director of the Humane Society of Louisiana. I'm here at the State Capitol in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a place I've been coming to to lobby since 1988. So unfortunately, I know these halls well. I've walked up and down them many, many times to lobby. And I want to take today a few minutes to discuss lobbying because most groups aren't, or individuals really aren't familiar with the mechanics of it. And, or that they're, if they're allowed to do it. And so the answer is absolutely anybody can lobby. And lobbying is really a form of communication. You're trying to influence an elected official to your point of view. And so I wanna walk you through the process of what we did two years ago and show you the successes and challenges and how this all works. It's slightly complicated, but I wanna try and make it simple. Did you know that almost anybody with a good idea can present it to a legislator, a lawmaker, and make it into a bill. Most people don't realize that. So if you have a good idea, you can actually have a meeting with a legislator, pitch the idea, and see if he'll sponsor it, he or she. Sponsoring means they will author the bill, they will actually put their name on the bill, and they will represent you as it goes through the process. But it has to be a good and doable idea they're not gonna do some far-fetched idea. So let me walk you through our idea. We saw there was a defect in our criminal code, and the defect was there was no good, adequate definition of what constituted proper housing for dogs. So we took it upon ourselves, we presented our argument that we needed to go in and amend the criminal code to make a very clear definition. Because as it stands now, a tipped over rain barrel constitutes shelter because there's no adequate or legal definition of what the word adequate or proper is regarding shelter. So we went to a lawmaker, we said, here's the problem, will you help us solve it? And so luckily, Representative Will Willard saw the issue and said that he would author this. So he put his name to it and we gave him the text of the bill. He gave it to legislative services. They put it into a, an official bill that was introduced two years ago at the state capitol. What happens is, based on the context of the language of the bill, it's then assigned a committee that does those types of issues. There's many committees, maybe seven, eight, or nine per chamber. So there's the same committees on both sides, the House and the Senate. Slightly confusing, but I'll help you. So it's assigned a number. This was House Bill 223, or, eight, or HR 223, House Bill, by Representative Willard. And so now we have the definition and what it accomplishes. Now what we do is we go to that very committee that has been assigned. Representative Willard sits with us at the table and talks to the people who are gonna vote on it, the committee members. We discuss it, and then we, they vote on it. But lobbying is much more than that. You have to take time to lobby each of those committee members before it's heard to make sure that you have enough votes, the majority, to pass it out of the House. Once it, sorry, out of the committee. Once it goes through the committee, it goes on to the floor where the entire assembly votes on it, and then the same process duplicated on the Senate side. I know it's slightly complicated, but today's video was a simple introduction to the whole process, and we promise to give you more along the way. Thank you for watching so much. Please share this video widely.